Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jeff Bordonia, I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia, and this week I'm going to be talking about the DAW called Reaper, as in the Grim Reaper. Uh, I've been using GarageBand and I wanted to try something a little more powerful, so I'm going to walk through how to set up a basic project and a uh, basic audio track in Reaper. So when you open it up for the first time, you have your file menu on the top like normal, uh, you have some project buttons here, uh, your main kind of area will be this track listing uh, area, and at the bottom you have your uh, control mixing controls and plugins and MIDI stuff that you're going to use. So uh, to get started, I actually want to save uh, a, the project, and uh, I'm going to call it uh, music production. Uh, one thing is that uh, it doesn't generally create a subdirectory for the project by default, so that means that your track listing kind of goes all together amongst projects. So make sure you do that; uh, it'll kind of keep things a little bit cleaner. So we're going to. Re save that and replace what I had already had created in the first take and then uh, we're gonna get started by setting some project settings so if you go here generally it comes up with a project settings tab by default but uh, you want to set your sample rate to 48,000 Hertz and this is basically how often we're sampling from the analog signal into a digital format and then we go to our media tab we want to make sure our audio format is set to either wave or AIFF both are lossless formats, meaning there's not information loss in doing compression or anything like that. And as part of that, set the bit depth to 24 bits, and that's how much information is being sent each time we're doing a sample. Uh, and finally, uh, this write BWF chunk, that's broadcast wave format, that's basically just adding some extra metadata onto your wave format that you're using. So it's good to set that. So we're going to say OK here, and one we're going to also set up in preferences some more settings. One is going to be the uh, make sure our interface that we're connected to is being used. So Scarlet here, which is good. Uh, and then we're going to go to buffering. And in buffering, we want to make sure our buffer size is set correctly. Uh, buffer size is basically how many samples, what size Q of samples your uh, computer can have at one time. And so the lower, uh, in this case 128, uh, is better for recording because it reduces the latency, um, the delay in recording, and higher, uh, the 1200 I think is the default, is better for mixing and plugins and when you really need a lot of CPU power for effects. So we have it set to 128 here because we're going to record, um, apply that, and we're going to be good to go. One thing you can notice is that up here in the file menu you can see those settings, which is nice to see what you currently have set. So we're going to go ahead and insert a new track, uh, track, insert new track, and here we're going to set up our input type. So I'm using a digital piano, so I'm going to do stereo, but if you were doing guitar or vocals, you would do mono. And then I also want to set the name of the track before I get started, so that files are saved to the right place. So we're all saved. Uh, and I'm going to actually go ahead and connect my interface now. And uh, before I do that, I want to make sure I turn my gain down and my volume down so I'm not getting any feedback. Um, but I'm going to connect that. All right, that's connected. Um, now that's connected, I'm going to arm the track, basically get it ready to record by hitting this little red button there. And uh, when you do that, make sure you turn the volume down because as soon as you hit that, the signal is sent to your output, so you don't want to get any head loud noises in your headphones or anything. So once that's set, I'm going to turn the gain back up to get ready. And uh, one thing before we actually hit the record button is I want to set up the metronome here. So metronome enabled right there. Uh, and actually we want to make sure that the settings on the metronome, so if you go to options, metronome, you can set up the settings. And you can see that it's, it's going to set up the metronome itself, but also the count in here. That doesn't do that by default, so you're going to make sure that those boxes are set if you want to use that. Okay, we're good to go, so we're going to actually go ahead and hit this big old button right here, and then I'm just going to, it's counting in right now, now I'm just going to record some stuff by hitting random keys, and we're going to save it, uh, hit uh, space bar to save it, or to pause it, and now I'm just going to go ahead and save it uh, for later. So that's how you record. Uh, I hope this helps you in getting started with Reaper, and I uh, really appreciate you guys listening to my lesson. Thanks very much.